Now comes the lost starters for the Murray State Aggies. From Saxe, Texas, R.J. Chapman. Isaiah Lewis from L.A., the Skills Factory. Player of the Week for number 13, Terrence Austin, number five from Pueblo, Colorado. Rustin Coffee. Emory Everhart, sophomore from Lafayette, Colorado. And shout out to his family. He told me uh, it's either his mother or his grandmother that watches us out of Montana. So shout out to the family of Emory Everhart. I already know the, Ch the Chapman family's on board, Harley family's on board, and our crew down in Florida that's swinging out. Hang on. Hey, Coach, I appreciate everybody up here in the love here at Murray State. Ready for the jump right now. And we got number 20. I'm, I'm just going to call him Tree. He's from Calhoun Falls, South Carolina. He's got to be every bit of seven feet. So, Aggies win the tip. Let's see what's going to happen. Chapman is going to get the ball and start it off. Works it around. Going to be a good game tonight, folks. Isaiah Lewis. Working around. A lot of movement for the Aggies on the floor. Three-pointers underway. And that's a three-pointer. Money ball. Isaiah Lewis. I told these fellas, let's shock the world on tonight. Let's do this. a and tough team. That's NEO, agriculture, mechanical, mechanic, and that's the big man, Belton. 3-2, Aggies lead. Everhart's got his hands full on tonight, folks. And they say you need to bring your hard hat and your lunch pail. Might be a brown bag, too. Austin with a three-pointer. He's good. Aggies, a back-to-back three-pointer. So if they're going to give him that, that uh, three-pointer to Moneyball, we'll take it. 6-2, Aggies lead. Isaiah Lewis with the defense, trying to steal it from him. And m Shot is up, and it's good. Count the basket. That's going to be number zero, Ronyo Obo. He's from Houston, Texas. No fouls in the game so far. Aggies lead 6-5. Shot is up. It's missed. Rebound. Any o with the ball. Going to slow it down get their offense set. They try to get a travel call against number 25, Carter. No call. Coach over here from NEO, Coach Jeremy Jackson, shouting out the play. What he wants his team to run. Aggies is making sure on defense. You got to be ready on this one. Austin is using his body on him, and he scores. Jumper is good by Trayvon Bird from Durham, North Carolina. Any other leading seven to six against the Aggies. Austin with the fake. Chapman, Lewis. Bounce pass. It's going to bounce off of Murray State Ever Everhart. Last turnover. Got to play with perfection on tonight against these guys. 
And they're going to walk the ball up the court. Come on, Rowe. Come on, Rowe. Drives and shoots. Uh, Coffee right there, not allowing him to go in there. And he's double teamed and he gets it up. Belton. Score is 9 to 6 in favor of NEO, the Norseman. RJ Chapman passes it to Isaiah Lewis. Everhart with the shot. Oh! Almost got it to go in. Rebound, Murray State. Terrence Austin with a three pointer. It's short. Rebound, NEO. He had to tie his shoe. We're waiting on him. They get the ball down. Everhart's right there in front of him. Going to have to put a shoulder on him. Oh, good job by Rustin Coffee. Should have been a jump ball. But they're going to call a foul. I'm pretty sure that is on Rustin Coffee. That's going to be his first foul. Got multiple players when they come in the game for Coach Josh Davis at the bench right now. It's going to be Trayvon Williams. Devontae Campbell and Stanley Harley. Meanwhile, Belton at the line to shoot free throws. He misses. So, Everhart, Coffee, and Chapman's coming out the game for the Aggies. We're going to find out if he shoots free throws like Shaquille O'Neal. He connected on that one. So he's got five points for NEO. Lewis getting the ball up the court. Gets it down to Campbell. Campbell's going to kick it to... Oh, nice move. Oh, good shot. Oh, yes. Good pass. Trayvon Williams gets it into his teammate, Devontae Campbell. They score. Campbell is from Ilford, London, Myersboro Basketball Academy. Shout out to our friends listening from the UK and the United Kingdom. Rebound after the shot is up. Can't give up those second point baskets and that was scored by Bird. He's got four in the game. And he'll leads 12 to eight. Shot is up, miss. Fight for the rebound, Campbell. And it's going to go off of NEO. It's going to be Murray's fault. You know, with Murray being a three seed, and we got a media timeout, I'll go ahead and talk about that right after this. We'll be back from our sponsor, First United Bank, Spend Life Wise. Life is yours to spend. Spend it expanding your balance. Spend it expanding your mind. Spend it wondering what comes next. Spend it trusting that God has a plan. Spend it taking small steps in your own life. Spend it making a big impact on someone else's. First you know the bank. Spend life wisely. And welcome back to Murray State Aggie broadcast on the Murray State Aggie YouTube channel. Score is 12 to 8 in favor of NEO. But as I was saying before we uh, took this time out, is that... Uh, Right now, you're looking at NEO being the number two seed and Murray being the number three seed. It just depends on how close it is. But you kind of want it to be in that area because you could run into this team in Muskogee in the semifinals. Remember, the tournament takes place in Muskogee on March the 13th. That's a Wednesday. March Madness is under effect, and it's this being the 29th day of the month of, of course, of February. So, coming out the timeout, the Aggies with the ball, inbounding it. On the court is Lewis, Harley, Williams, Campbell, and Austin. He spins and he loses the ball. NEO takes it from him. They've got a lot of height out there. You look at this team right here. And that's going to be off of uh, Lewis. This, this, this team is like a step up under a university team. Out, Kaden, 
Get out. There you go. Go. Henley working around. Shot is underway. That's going to be a long shot. It's missed. Fight for the rebound. Aggies come up with it. Stanley Harley. Drives in. Gets it to Austin. He's up under there. Kicks it out. Good move. Lewis. A lot of ball movement. Aggies. He drives in, and he's going to get the foul. Harley does draw the foul. And that's going to be charged against NEO number 20. That's his first foul, and that's going to put Harley at the line to shoot free throws. Stanley is not afraid. And he scores. Way on the second shot. And he connects them, both of them. Harley's on the board with two points. Hitting two free throws. Here comes Ineo, bringing the ball around the court. Trayvon was right there with the defense on him. They're going with a man-to-man. And looks like a good defense on Trayvon, but they're going to call a foul on him. So that is going to be Trayvon's first foul. So that's our second team foul, and that was he was going to the line to shoot, so he's going to go to the free throw line to shoot two shots, and that is going to be Caden Carter. He's from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. And he misses. On the way to shoot his second shot. And the second shot is good. Thirteen to ten is our score. And he's working it around. Three pointers on the way. It's long. That was Harley that shot it. Here comes Inio. And they get it down low, and the basket is scored. It is scored by Bird. He's got six points already in the game. 15 to 10 is our score. 13 minutes and 34 seconds till the halftime. Isaiah Lewis with the shot, and it's going to be sharp, but nice job by Harley. He tries to put it up, and he wasn't able to find anywhere to get it up. So here comes Inio. Drives in, spins, gets it off the glass, miss. Fight for the rebound. Isaiah Lewis comes up with it. He looks the floor. Lewis is going to tell Williams he needs him to go around and bounce pass. He gets it down to Campbell. There's Austin for the three. A little long. That's twice his shot is. Just a little long. Comes back out. 12.38 left here in the first half. And they're going to call a foul more than likely on Terrence Austin. It is. So that is going to be his first foul. At the line shooting for NEO will be Trayvon Bird. And he hits. Coming back in the game for Murray State, number zero, R.J. Chapman in for Terrence Austin. They got multiple substitutions in for NEO. Looks like we got number three. That is James Locke. Number 23 is in the game. That is LeBray Williams, Jr. And I think I saw number 30 over there. That is Albert Wilson, the third. And that is correct. So he connects on the second free throw. 17-10. NEO leading. Harley being double teamed. He gets the ball in. RJ Chapman now is in the corner. And he gets it off. Stanley Harley smart drives through. Shoots over the trees. It's a little long again. Between him and Terrence Austin. Hitting the back of the rim. 
Wade, of course, they threw it up in the stands. <laughs> James Locke telling his players, hey, dude, you've been in the weight room. I just, it just, just got away from him. So that's going to be the Aggies ball. We'll take it. Chapman gets the ball back and forth between him and Isaiah Lewis. Harley with a nice pass. Campbell's in the lane. He got to get out, got to get out, got to get out, get out. He does. Four seconds. He's a three-pointer on the way. And that's another miss. And he's just keep finding that basket right now. They, they just got to keep on shooting until they get it. That's just the way the game goes. NEO inside the paint. He shoots, misses, but he draws the foul. And that's going to be charged to Stanley Harley. That's his first foul. Media timeout. We'll be right back after this. Keep it right here on the Mercy State Aggie YouTube channel. Life is yours to spend. Spend it expanding your balance. Spend it expanding your mind. Spend it wondering what comes next. Spend it trusting that God has a plan. Spend it taking small steps in your own life. Spend it making a big impact on someone else's. First United Bank. Spend life wisely. And welcome back to Murray State Aggie Basketball. You're here tonight at the A.W. Beans Fieldhouse. And matchup tonight between NEO. They won like about 22 games. I think they only got about three or four losses. And they are either number one or number two in our region conference. Murray's been jumped out on the lead on them, but have been like 0 for 5 in the last five shots. So we're going to continue coming out this timeout, and at the line shooting is going to be Bird. And he hits the first shot. Now he's about to shoot his second free throw. And he misses. Rebound. Murray State. Campbell comes over the ball. Here they come. Brown the court. Working it around. Chapman gets it out. Isaiah Lewis. He gets uh, to Stanley Harley. And they back and forth. And Lewis turns it over. They go hit the Good job by Trayvon Wheels with the block. And that basket is scored. That basket is scored by NEO. That's Albert Wilson. Harley, three pointer, I mean, two point shot. Nice job by Stanley Harley from Murray State. He's on the board. Harley with a couple of free throws and now a jumper. Harley is from Waldorf, Maryland. He attended Western Arizona Western College and came here. This is his second year. Shot is up by Albert, and he gets the bounce. So he's got back-to-back -back buckets for NEO. 22-12, 10-point lead for NEO for Norseman. Wheels with a nice pass to Lewis. Trayvon gets it up to Campbell. He spins and shoots off the glass. That is a nice move, Day Campbell. Shot is up, it's missed, rebound, Harley for Murray State. He's gonna find Lewis. Back to Harley. Nice move by Stanley as he draws the foul. And that's gonna be charged to Trayvon Bird. That's his first foul. Now check it in, returning back to the lineup, number 20 for Murray State, coming in for Campbell is Iggy. 
Jacobus. He is from Barking, London. Barking Abbey Basketball Academy is where he attended school. Shout outs to the Buck family, the Chapman family, the Vila family, and Harold Smith. Talking about let's go Aggies. <laughs> Fourteen to twenty-two. Thirteen seconds on the shot. That's my man, Trayvon Williams. Isn't it? Great time for that shot to come in. Seventeen to twenty-two. We're down by five. Three pointers on the way. Miss fight for the rebound. Good job by Lewis as he gets it to Chapman. Three pointers on the way in the corner, and it almost goes in. That was Williams. Got to get back on D. Got to get back. And they do. Hey, Trey, get it. Nice defense by Trayvon Williams. Three-pointers on the way by Albert. He misses. Rebound, Stanley Harley. Trayvon's fighting for the ball. He loses it. Harley got there to put a little defense on him, slow him down. Hey. Chapman playing good defense. And Chapman almost slaps it from Harley right there, and they're going to get a foul. And that foul is going to be charged to Murray State. That's going to be against Iggy. That's his first foul. At the line, it's going to be number 30. That's Albert Wilson the third from Atlanta, GA. I see you, Harold. Said that's my nephew. I know. Represent your family. Isaiah Lewis is back. Is out the game. Terrence Austin is back in. Shot is up and it's good. Turnover in the paint. Fight for it. And he comes up with it. Albert Wilson the third. Twenty-three to seventeen is our score. Eight minutes and six seconds. Bounce pass down low. Austin's right there, not giving up any space. Albert with the ball. He's going to kick it back out to the top, and that three-pointer is good. That's scored by number twenty-two. Lafay George Jr. from Chicago, Illinois. He's a sophomore. Stanley Harley shoots, misses, but there's going to be a foul called against Murray. No, it's not against Murray. They're going to call that against NEO. That's going to go up in number 12. That's let me see who they call that timeout. They said either the 12. Well, I'm trying to get clarity on that. So we'll find out. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Our score, NEO 26, Murray State 17. We'll be right back. So keep it here. Life is yours to spend. Spend it expanding your balance. Spend it expanding your mind. Spend it wondering what comes next. Spend it trusting that God has a plan. Spend it taking small steps in your own life. Spend it making a big impact on someone else's. First United Bank. Spend life wisely. All right, coming back after that timeout, we need to get clarity on the timeout. On the foul, that was called against CNEO, number 12. That would be uh, Patrick Prince. So we're going to come back to the action, and it's going to be Murray State's ball. They're going to inbound the ball if I let it go. Harley's going to inbound the ball. On the court is Lewis, Austin, Williams, and Iggy. Twenty-six, seventeen. Neo leading Murray State. And they get it in. Isaiah Lewis is in the corner. 
And it's going to go off of Lewis. He wasn't able to protect the ball. Lewis turnover on Murray State. Shot is on the way, and it's good. Count it. Murray's, that's our NEO. That's who score was by James Locke of Oklahoma City. 29-17. Good pass. Good move. Trayvon Williams. So let's give him uh, five points in the game. Working it around. NEO with the ball. Shot is up. And it's a fight for it. Foul's going to be called against. Murray State. Trayvon Williams, that's his second foul. 16 foul. Albert Wilson the third at the line to shoot two shots. This is going to be his third and fourth free throw. He is one and one so far. And he's good. And the second shot is good. Got a lot of activity going on in the chat room, so shout-outs to everybody, NEO fans and Aggie fans. Appreciate y'all listening. Harold is uh, in uh, Pittsburgh. I'm on WGBN up there on uh, the Gospel Station in New Kessington. So shout-outs to the folks in Pittsburgh. Aggie shoot and miss it. Here comes NEO with the ball. Working around, Albert with the ball, passes it down low. Austin is putting the body on him. Isaiah Lewis was right there to try to knock it away from him. Looks like that was Carter that scored for NEO. They lead 33 to 19. Coffee passes it off to Stanley Harley. Shot is underway, it's a miss. And that's going to go off of NEO. It should be Aggie's ball. Harley's going to be out. Chapman. RJ Chapman is back in for Murray State. That ball is in by Rest and Coffee. Aggie's got to try to keep it close. Chapman with the ball. Bounce pass. Terrence Austin in the corner. And he's missed, but he follows the shot, goes in up under the trees. And good job. Was not afraid. That's how you use your body. Terrence Austin. 33-21, 519 left until halftime. Shot is up, and it's good. James Locke. Five minutes and six seconds. Aggies trailing 35-21. And that's another turnover. Lewis loses the ball. And we're going to have offensive foul charged against NEO. That's going to be charge number 25. Caden Carter, that's his first person. Team foul number four. No basket. So here comes the Aggies bringing the ball up with four minutes and 48 seconds till halftime. Isaiah Lewis with the ball. Works it around. Trying to find a move. Going to go in the trees. Use his body. And it hits off the backboard. Three six. He hits a floater and he finds a great recovery. Isaiah Lewis. 
That's how you keep going. 35-21, Aggies trail by, 40, by uh, well, it's 30, 23 35. They just changed the score. Three pointers on the way, and it's good. That is number 22, LaPray George Jr. out of Chicago. I promise you, I think that's Miles G George family member that's on there. And they're going to call that on number 20. 22, we're going to time out. We're going to take a break. We'll come back. Media timeout. We'll be right back with more here on the Aggies YouTube channel. And back to the action here. We have three minutes and 50 seconds left till halftime. Ineo with a 38-23 lead. Coffee's going to throw the ball in to Chapman. Working it around. Stanley Harley's back in the game now for Murray State. Eight seconds on the shot clock. He stops, hesitate, bounce pass, good move. Iggy with the basket. Good offense, Murray State. We'll take it. 38, 25, 320 left till halftime. Shot is up, and this is. Going to be a foul charge to Murray State. And that's going to be charged to Iggy. That should be his second foul. At the line shooting for any other, it's going to be Caden Carter. And he connects on his free throw. Now we're turning back in the lineup for Murray State, number 33. In for Iggy, it's going to be number 33, Emory Everhart. Second free throw is up, and it's good. <laughs> 40 to uh, 25, 15 point lead for NEO. Almost a steal. And that is, looks like that was George. That was able to come through there. And he takes it in there. Number five, Trayvon Board, saw an opening and took advantage of it. Harley with the shot. Good, nice basket by Murray State. 42 27, 15 point lead for NEO with 224 left till halftime. Three pointers on the way. It's missed by George. Here comes Murray State. Chapman. And nice move. And he goes back. He goes to the corner and turns around and said, Look, I'm going to take this shot. So he's on the board. RJ Chapman is on the board. 156 29 for Murray, 42 for NEO. Get the ball down low. Shot is up. It's long. Missed. Fight for the rebound, and it's going to be Murray's ball. They're going to call a foul against number 20. 
That is Belton. That's his second foul. Back in the game now is going to be number 30, Albert Wilson the third, coming in for Belton. Lewis going to inbound the ball to Stanley Harley. Pretty sure Coach Josh Davis is going to make some adjustments here at halftime. As they trail by 13. Trying to at least get it down to a 10-point lead for half. R.J. Chapman with a spin. Gets it around. There's Lewis. Gets it down low to Emory Everhart. He kicks it out. Nice move by Chapman. He shoots, and he's scored back-to-back -back baskets for Murray State. So we are down by 11 points with one minute and nine seconds left. Fifty-four seconds. Three seconds. And he gets the bounce. Wow, good shot. Locke is the one that scored that basket. Thirty-three seconds. Coach wants him to hold it. Eighteen seconds on the shot clock. Harley with a three-pointer, and he finds it. Three Time out, Murray State. We'll take a break. We'll be right back here on the Murray State YouTube channel. I'm Cedric Bailey. We got more coming up, so keep it right here. Life is yours to spend. Spend it expanding your balance. Spend it expanding your mind. Spend it wondering what comes next. Spend it trusting that God has a plan. Spend it taking small steps in your own life. Spend it making a big impact on someone else's. First United Bank. Spend life wisely. All right, coming back out of the timeout. 14 seconds. Aggies down by 10. Shot is up. Miss. Fight for the rebound. Coffee comes up with it. Six seconds. Five. Chapman is going to draw the foul. And that's going to be called against George. That's his first foul. And he's going to get the ball inbounds. Harley with the ball. Two seconds. Shot is up. Count it. Count it. Count it. Count it. Instead of 10, we'll take eight. Nice shot. Stanley Harley finds it in the corner, and he was triple team. And our score, Murray State 36, NEO 44. We'll be right back, so keep it right here. is yours to spend. Spend it expanding your balance. Spend it expanding your mind. Spend it wondering what comes next. Spend it trusting that God has a plan. Spend it taking small steps in your own life. Spend it making a big impact on someone else's. First United Bank. Spend life wisely. Come back, give you some stats right quick. Now remember, my stats are unofficial. I try to do the best I can. Looks like R.J. Chapman has four points in the first half. No fouls. Isaiah Lewis, no fouls. Five points. Stanley Harley with one foul. He's hit two free throws. He's the only one that's been to the free throw line for Murray State on tonight. But he's got ten points. Trayvon Williams, two fouls, five points. Rusty Coffee with one foul, no points. Iggy with two fouls and two points. And then Dave Campbell with no fouls, and he has a total of four points. That gives us our 36. Meanwhile, looking at NEO, looking at uh, number zero, it's going to be Ronio Ovo. 
Down down for three points. Tobias Rowland, number four. He has no points. James Locke, I got him down for seven. Trayvon Bird with one foul. Been to the free throw line at least four times. He's connected three out of four. And then he scored eight points. So let's give him 11 points. Looks like he's their leading scorer. Belton, two fouls with one free throw and two shots. Two baskets, so let's give him five. George Jr., LaPra George Jr., one foul, four points. Then I have Caden Carr, Carter. He has one basket, and he's been to the free throw line and connected at least four shots, four out of five. And last but not least, number 30, Albert Wilson the third. I have him at the free throw line with four free throws, connected three out of four, hit a couple of baskets, so let's give him a total of seven points. Remember my stats are unofficial, and uh, we're going to take a break for halftime. We'll be back in seven minutes. Participants, 
and the schools are ultimately responsible for all participants. More music to come here on Game Time. One free music for you. All right, fans, we're back now. We're ready for the second half. The Norseman is going to be in and bounding the ball. This time they'll be shooting at the east goal, and Murray State will be shooting at the west goal. So Murray will be going from our right to left, and Ineo from our left to right. So here we go, and I'll give you the schedule, let you know what's going to be happening for the remainder of the season for our Murray State Aggies. Starters are back on the court for Ineo. Obo, Roland, Bird, Belton, and Carter. Shot is up. It's missed in a fight for the rebound. Looks like they're going to call that on Ebony Everhart. And they are. He's going to foul uh, on Roland. So that's going to be on Emory Everhart. That's his first foul. See what kind of adjustments Coach... Josh Davis is going to deal with his team here in the second half. Terrence Austin using his body on the defense. Oh, good job by Coffey. Oh, thought he was going to get the foul. It's five on five, so. Terrence Austin getting his second foul. That's second team foul. This time it's going to be a shooting foul. And that's going to send number five, Trayvon Bird, as a line to shoot two free throws. 
Shot is underway, and that's missed. Bird is going to shoot his second free throw. And he connects on that one. Chapman with the ball. He shoots a three-pointer, and he finds it. Good job. What a great way. R.J. Chapman, 39-45, closest for the Aggies here in the second half. So what kind of adjustment they're going to make as he drives in and gets the basket off his left hand. Good shot by Caden Carter. From Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Eight-point lead for the Norseman. Aggies with their second possession here in the second half. Down pass low. Everhart, he's going to go in there. But he changed his mind, sits it out. Chapman is being double team in the corner. And he's going to throw it off the leg of Trayvon Bird. Again, I want to say thank you to all the fans that are checking us out here. We appreciate the Murray State Aggies for providing this uh, free YouTube channel. Some colleges you got to pay, but we make sure that you're able to watch it for free. Rusted Carvey shoots, and that's an air ball at this time. NEO takes the ball in and shoots, miss, rebound, and that's going to be Coffey comes up with it, and he gets it off to Emory Everhart. Coffey with the shot, he misses, rebound. NEO. I'll take it all away, and the shot is up, and it's good. Nice basket by Trayvon Bird. Chapman takes the ball in, and he's got to kick it back out to Terrence Austin. Now Isaiah Lewis with the ball. He works it around. Austin up under the trees. Good pass. Everhart tries to put it up, but he's going to be called. Is they going to call a foul? as they called it on number five, Trayvon Bird. Hey, Everhart's going to go to the free throw line and shoot two shots. Shot is up and it's good. By the way, there was Bird second foul. Back in the game, Superman Trayvon Williams in the game. See if I can throw him some kryptonite and step it up a little bit. They were hard shooting their second free throw. And it's good. So he's two for two. Now coming back in for Everhart, it's going to be Devontae Campbell. 49-41. Our score with NEO leading Murray State. NEO brings the ball up the court. Passes down to the big man. Shot is up. And that's a miss. Rebound, Chapman. And he sees Terrence Austin, but they're going to steal the ball. And it's going to be Murray's ball. Nice try by RJ, but NEO was able to, to pick that one up. We got it down to eight points now. That's Trayvon shooting. He misses. Rebound. Dave Campbell. He's in the, uh, tracked up in the corner there. Gets it off to Austin. Kicks it around. Isaiah Lewis. Three-pointer. All right. Look out, Murray. 49-40. five-point game, folks. Good, oh, good move by Lewis. He almost comes up with it. Fight for the ball. And they shoot it. It's too much. And the big man, he shoots and he just weaseled his way in there. Belton. 51-44. Aggies are giving them. Doing what they can. Being smart. Chapman works around. Lewis. He with a floater. Count the basket, baby! Isaiah Lewis 
What a touch on that one, Aggie. 51-46. Nice move. Back-to-back -back shots by Isaiah Lewis for the Aggies. Ineo working it around. Four seconds. Shot has got to go, and it's going to be good. That was nothing but money. Trayvon Burry with the money ball. That's his first three-pointer. 54-56, eight-point lead for Ineo. Nice move. Austin pass to Trayvon. And that's Isaiah Lewis with three shots in a row for the Aggies. He's keeping his team in the game. 54-49, and once again, a five-point lead for Murray State. Trying to get a stop against NEO. This is a tough team to beat, folks. They are talent, talented all the way. Their coaches got at least about nine guys he can go to, Coach Jackson does. And that should be a blocking foul. That foul is going to be called on Dave Campbell. And they say, no basket. You got to inbound it. It was on the floor. We got a media timeout, and I'm going to take a break right quick. <laughs> Think about it. We'll be back back. Aggies trail 54 to 49. Don't go nowhere. We got more on the way. So keep it here on the Aggies a YouTube channel. Coming back after that media timeout, we got 15 minutes and eight seconds left in this ball game. Aggies wearing their white and blue and red. Ineo, Norseman wearing dark blue with gold lettering. They're about to inbound the ball. They do throw it in. And they do. Caden Carter brings the ball. He's going to drive. And oh, my God. Superman's little brother came out of nowhere because Trayvon was there and all of a sudden Dave Campbell comes in and says, now you see me, now you don't. Nice defense, Murray State. They're doing a good job with the big man, I'll tell you that. They're keeping him under control under there. Campbell's on him. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, forget all what I said. He just dunked it on him. My God. He must have heard what I said. <laughs> oh, God. Belton with the power dunk. 56-49. Campbell takes him. Oh, he blocks him. He's on the floor. Fight for the ball. Should be a jump ball. Shouldn't be no foul. It is a jump ball. Good job. Good hustle. And guess who's right there in the pile, folks? <laughs> Number four, Stanley Harley. Got a wet spot on the floor. Need to get a towel to get that up. Ball never hit the rim, so they got to reset the shot clock. They took it to 11 seconds. That is correct. He never, it was a jump ball. So here comes Williams with the ball. He kicks it out. Harley, and that should be a foul. It is. They're going to call blocking foul against NEO. Trayvon Bird, that's his third foul. 
Harley was the one that was able to force the foul on him. The towel guy was there. He was ready to get the spot up. So we'll see. He's going to get it after this when they hit the other court. Harley with the ball. Trayvon Williams. Campbell. Seven seconds. Shot is underway. We'll take it again. Isaiah Lewis is putting his team on his back. 56-52, folks. That is a four-point lead. Aggies come to play tonight. Working it around. They double teaming and belting, and he's going to kick it to the corner. Shot is on the way, and it's missed. Fight for the rebound, and Belton tries to go in there and muscle his way in there. They weren't going to let him do it again. Technical foul. Looks like it's going to be hit against NEO. Officials are stepping in there. Waiting on them to clear the floor, and I think they're going to charge that to number four. We will find out. They, got, they have a conversation in there. They're going to talk about it, and I'm going to wait on them to tell me. Here we go. The official said, I'm not done yet, so here we go. Brown's calling Devontae Campbell on Murray. And they're going to call the foul against 21, Devontae Campbell. So he got hit twice. So that's four fouls on him. And at the line shooting, first it was number four, Roland. Now shooting is going to be Number 20, Jarzea Belton. He shoots the free throw line. He hits that out one. And he misses that free throw. Rebound, Trayvon Williams. Fifty-eight, fifty-two. 13, 24 left in this game. Harley going up under the rim. Oh, nice move. Iggy with the ball, and he tries to get it up. Here comes NEO. Harley. Oh, Trayvon Williams come out of there behind and knocks it out of his hand. Perfect timing. Trayvon, he didn't see him coming. Wow. NEO inbounding the ball. 58-52, 13-09 left in this game, folks. Turnover, Aggies, here they go. Harley with the ball. Lewis has been carrying this team on his back. Finds the Iggy. He's gonna come in, gotta get pass it out, and it's gonna be deflected. Turnover, Aggies. And good job by RJ Chapman. No call, no call. You lost the ball. He wanted to call. Carter did, but he didn't get it. It's just good defense by Chapman. Shout-outs to the folks listening out of Garland, Texas on the night. Right next to Richardson and right next to Mesquite. In the 972 and the 214. Aggies on D trying it. There's the big man. Oh, he misses it. But it's going to be a foul. I'm pretty sure they're going to call it on Trayvon. He had the opening. It is. That's his third personal foul. So that's going to send the big man to the line. I'm talking about uh, Belton. He misses that one. He's got one shot left. I'm trying to see that with the official right in front of me. And he missed that one too. Aggies with the ball. 
Here comes Stanley Harley. He's going to do the magic. Now's the time to turn it on. Harley, you know he's going to try to find an opening. Whoa. Oh, he had a, a good pass to Iggy, and he wasn't able to connect to him. Had the right idea, but wasn't able to time that around. That would have been a great assist because he had the uh, belting up in the air. The challenge. 12 minutes, 14 seconds. Here come the Aggies getting the steal after the turnover. Lewis with the ball. Stanley Harley. Terrence Austin with the ball. 11.50. Harley's going to shoot it. And he finds a money ball three-pointer. They're just creeping their way in this game, folks. 58-55. Three-point lead for NEO. Don't go nowhere, folks. We got a good one tonight. Three-pointer. That basket is shot from Chicago. James Locke from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, hitting that one. 61-55. Six-point lead. Uh, NEO. Harley with the ball. Gets it down to Iggy. And he finds a good pass. Good assist. Iggy scores. And he was a left-hander, so that was good. Give him four points. Last time they played back in January, they beat us by 20 points. That is a good boy. He's a three-pointer, and that's scored. That is uh, number 23, LaBrie Williams, Jr. of Shreveport, Louisiana. And the shot, he went up, and he's fouled. That was Isaiah Lewis. And they're going to call that on Belton. That should be his third foul. He's coming out. Media timeout. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Keep it right here on the Murray State Aggies YouTube channel. And we're going to get ready to let you know what to expect as the Aggies close out the season. There are two more games left before we head to the tournament in Muskogee, Oklahoma. March 13th, 14th, and 15th. Murray State will play on the road their final road game before they hit the tournament. They'll go to Wilberton on Monday, March 4th. And then the final game of the season will be against Western Oklahoma State College, the Pioneers. That'll be one week from today. How many sophomores do we have on our team? One, two, three, four, five, six sophomores from Everhart, Williams, Wilkins, Austin, Harley, and Lolly, Jackson Lolly. So be here next week as we uh, show our support for these players for playing Murray State Aggie basketball. Of course, Trayvon, he uh, transferred in this year. At the line is going to be Lewis. And he hits. His first free throw on tonight, and he's good. We've only been to the free throw line six times tonight. And he hits both. He's on fire here in the second half for Murray State. I got him down for 18 points. 64-59, NEO leading Murray State. Lewis on the floor. He gets back up. Oh, good job by Aggies defense. Eight seconds, and that was Harley back there disrupting his process. Ball thrown way across one shot. That is a shot clock violation. Do not count the basket. Good job, Aggies, on the defense. We got to stop now. We can either make it 64-61 or 64-62. We'll see what the Aggies are going to do. Coffee's in the game now for Murray State. 
Harley, he's going to come in and he's going to. Oh, he got it out. He thought he could travel, but he didn't. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Harley. He's going to force up a shot. He misses. Enio comes up with the rebound. Offensive foul called against Enio. That is going to be charged with Tobias Rowland. Now back in the game for Enio is number 22, LaPra George Jr. So we're going to see if we can get it, try it again to cut this to a two-point game or a, a three-point game. We'll see what they're going to do this time. Plenty of time. Nine minutes and 30 seconds left. Terrence Austin comes in. Good shot by Terrence Austin. 64-61. Shot is up, and it's going to be missed. Fight for the rebound. And the Aggies come up with it. Uh-oh, dangerous pass, and they threw it right back to him. Can't take that chance, and he hits a three-pointer. Can't make no mistakes like that. Had it. Just got to wait on it. That was number three, James Locke. He's hit his third three-pointer on tonight. 67-61. Harley goes in the trees. Oh, he almost put a floater on him. Good steal. Lewis comes in and picks him. Good pass. There's Harley. That time he connects. I'll tell you, I already know. What are you going to say when I ask him? You're not afraid of nothing, are you? He says, nope, I'm not. 67, 63. Aggies trail by four points. Shot is on the way, and it's going to be missed. Right for the rebound. Iggy comes up with it, gets it to Rustin Coffee. Here comes Lewis. Once again, trying to make this a two point game or a one point game. I would say go for the two. 14 seconds. They're moving it quick. Harley shoots. Oh, nice. Austin was right in there fighting for it. And doesn't come up with it. Here comes Indio with the ball. Then Harley's right there to meet him at the half line. Timeline. Coach Jeremy Jackson going straight to his bench. And Coach Davis going to his bench. Jackson's going to put three players in. Murray's going to bring in two. Now, correction, two and two for both teams coming in. Shot is up. And it's a good count the basket. Pray George. 69-63. 658 in county. Well, we got a great one here tonight. That's us. That's us. And that's going to be Aggie's ball. Now turning in the lineup for NEO is going to be Bird and, of course, Albert Wilson Jr. Emory Everhart coming in for Iggy. And Trayvon Williams coming back in. We're going to take a break. Media timeout. We'll be right back. And shout out to our folks down in Caddo Parish. That's Shreveport, Louisiana, on board with us on tonight. All right, coming out of this media timeout, 69-63. The score was 36-44. to Aggies had cut it down to four points. The closest they've been able to get here in this second half has been like about three or four points. 
And right now they trail by six. And it's going to be Aggie's ball. And they get it in. Harley's got it. Everhart's down, playing the center position. There's Trayvon trying to set the pick for him. Lewis with the ball. Isaiah do with eight seconds left. Oh, and that looks like that was number 23. LeBree Williams Jr. coming in there and disrupted it. So we got five seconds left on the shot clock. Plenty of time. Austin with the ball. He gets it out to Lewis. And they're going to call a blocking foul. And that's going to be charged to NEO. Number five, Trayvon Bird. That's his fourth foul, folks. Is that four? His fourth foul. Fifth team foul. Bird has been playing his butt off on tonight, folks. 13 seconds on the shot clock. Here's Harley. He goes in. Nice pass. Trayvon Williams comes out of nowhere. My man, Trayvon Superman. I just had to say it. Ooh, I loved it. <laughs> nice play. 69-65, four-point lead. Miami, NEO leading Murray State. They say Miami in that part of Oklahoma. Nice pass, and this goes Terrence Austin. Bounce pass. Here comes the Aggies. Trayvon. Oh, turn it over. Coach Davis just did a 360 in there. Shot is up, and it's good. Nice basket by George. LaFray George Jr. He scores for Prada. Eight points for him on tonight. Basket's good. Looks like that Emory Everhart. Wow, good job, Emory. And that's Bird's fifth foul. And he's been disqualified. I.J. Chapman checking back in. Coming in for Sant, uh, again for Harley, Stanley Harley. At the line, shooting a free throw is Emory Everhart. So far, he's two for two. He's three for three tonight, folks. 71-68, Aggies hand there fighting for this game. I know everybody in the region want to know about this game on tonight. They want to know what's going to happen. Challenge tonight against NEO. Shot is up and it's missed. And that's going to be Albert going down and fighting for the rebound. They're going to call that on Isaiah Lewis from Murray State. You see, that's his first foul. So now it's one and one, and that's going to send Albert Wilson the third to the line from Atlanta, Georgia, shooting two shots. He's been there already three for four so far on tonight. First shot is up, and it's good. High school basketball. Got regionals, area going on here in Oklahoma and down in uh, Texas at Texas A&M Commerce. I see the teams there are Anna and who else did I see? Oh, yeah, Dallas Carter and Faith Family. Both baskets are good by Wilson. There should be a tough region there in Class 4A in uh, Texas A&M Commerce in the Lions' den. 73-68. Everhart with the ball. He spins. He goes left. Off the glass. Oh! Trayvon Williams almost pulled it out from him, but, hey, they was able to recover. Good job, Miami. 73-68, 441 left in the game. George is signaling back. George is thinking about going in. He's double-teamed. It should be a jump ball, but instead, Isaiah Lewis tried to get it from him. Pass. Trayvon Wheels back there with a nice defensive play. Terrence Austin with the ball gets it to R.J. Chapman. And there goes Isaiah Lewis taking it to the trees, working it out top. Good job. A ball movement by Murray State. Oh, fighting for the basket, but there's Emory Everhart with the rebound. Terrence Austin, four minutes, and he's going to pass it. 
And they're going to dive for the ball. And whose ball is it? Stanley Harley back in the game. So it's going to be the Aggies ball. Four minutes, two seconds left, folks. 13 seconds left on the shot clock. Aggies were really working that around, trying to get it in there. Get it in, get it in, get it in. He calls timeout. Didn't like what he saw. RJ is going to take a timeout. I'm going to take a break. We'll be right back. Four minutes, two seconds left in this game. NEO leads 73-68. All right, coming back out of the timeout that was called by Murray State. R.J. Chapman was trying to get the ball in, and he saw that he couldn't get it in within the five seconds. So rather than being a turnover, he calls the timeout. Yeah, I know. Every, I'm reading the comments online. Everybody said this is a close one. So close. So this time they're going to have Ezekiel Isaiah Lewis inbound the ball. On the court is Williams, Harley, Everhart and Chapman for the Aggies. And here we go. Now, you know, NEO was supposed to win the tournament last year, and Seminole won it. They get it in. Everhart, 11 seconds. He's faking. He puts the shot up, and it's good. He gets the bounce. Emory Everhart. I hear him shouting all the way from Montana on that one. That's my boy. 73-70. Nice play. Three thirty-seven. Neo. Seven seconds. He's going to shoot a long three, and that's missed. They do come up with a rebound. He's going to go in. He's going to draw the foul. He tries to shoot. No. Oh. Lewis comes up with the rebound. Isaiah does. And that's Harley in the corner with a shot. It goes in. We tied the game up, folks. We tied it up. Oh, my God. We knew it was coming. <laughs> Good way to move the ball up the court. Wow. Harley came through with the money ball. 2.54 left in this ball game. I hope you're not going anywhere, folks. We're going to the wire in this game. Enio with a three-pointer. It's good. Count the basket. That is, of course, George. George Jr. scoring for Enio. 76-73. 2.28 left in this ball game. Lewis with the ball. Harley takes it to the trees in his block. Rebound, Enio. Belton was right there on it. And they're going to take it in. Kicks it back out. Three-pointer on the way. And that's a dagger. That is James Locke hitting on that. So we went from a tie game to a six-point lead for NEO. 149 left of the game. Aggies got to be smart. Harley kicks it out to Chapman. Seek! Isaiah Lewis. And he hits a three-pointer. 79-77. Isaiah Lewis has been on fire tonight. He's got one, two, three, four, five three-point baskets on the night. I 
got him for 21 points total. Remember, these are unofficial numbers. Oh, nice move. Belton goes up for it. He missed the cake control. There goes uh, Superman. Here he goes, folks. Gets it out to Harley. Another three-pointer is underway. Cap the basket! And I think it was a foul! I think it was a foul, folks! If it is, he's going to the free throw line after he ties the game up. Isaiah Lewis, I had it for 24. 21, give him at least another three. That's six three-pointers on the night. And he got fouled. Wow. The last time we led the game was in the first two minutes. If he hits this basket, we take a one-point lead. He shoots, and he makes it. And we got a one-point lead. Murray State shocked the world. 80, 79. One minute left in this ball game. Harley is not giving him any defense. They're making him shoot three-pointers out, and he almost loses the ball. Chapman was right there on him. He gets it down low. He's open. He shoots and shoots off the left hand, and he foul, gets fouled. Caden Carter scores on that basket. You talking about bringing your team back in the game. That's what he does. And now that's going to send him to the line. And Murray State's going to take a timeout. It's 81 to 80. We'll be right back. Keep it here on the Murray State Aggie YouTube channel. Okay, I had to get myself together. <laughs> I'm reading the comments. OMG. Yes, keep it up. Oh, my. <laughs> I see you, Harold. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying and everything else over here. Okay, that foul was charged to Murray, number 33, Emory Abraham. So here's the deal. 25, who is uh, Caden Carter, is going to shoot the free throw. If he makes it, they got a two-point lead. If not, it still remains 81-80. Aggie will get the ball. And that will give NEO the ball back again. Let's see what he's done at the free throw line. He's only missed one free throw tonight. And he misses that one. And Superman comes up with the rebound, Trayvon Williams. So here we go. It's a one-point game, 41 seconds. They are going to, NEO is going to get the ball back. So they got to make this count. Harley. Twelve seconds. Harley's gonna go in there. He shoots off the glass. Fight for the ball, and Aggies come up with it. It's Harley, R.J. Chapman. Harley shoots. Oh, but it's re re brought us. Lewis misses. Fight for it, Superman, and he gets the foul. He gets the foul. Trey Wilson gets the foul. You're talking about fighting for the ball. The Aggies were all over the rim. They were not afraid. Now it's going to come down to Trayvon shooting free throws. And they're going to have to call a, a timeout. Oh, my God. You're talking about fighting for that ball. He's shooting two shots, folks. Let me sit back down. Oh, my God. And he misses. Okay, Iggy's coming back in. Trayvon's at the line. Coach is shouting out their stats for free throws. You got this, Trayvon. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Put your cape on, son. Six seconds. We're tied up. We could be going in overtime. We'll see. No foul. No foul. He shoots off the glass. And it's a dunk. And that's it. That's the ball game. That is the ball game. There's nothing you can do about that. Belton scores and makes it 83 to 81. But let me tell you something, folks, tonight. Murray State could not do anything about him. But this dude is something else. 
0.2 seconds left. They said the game is not over. 0.2. We don't even have a camera here. I don't even see those 0.2 seconds. I thought the game was over with. <laughs> Me a timeout. Well, okay. <laughs> Let me just see. Wow. Well, anyway, let me just tell you what happened in the last second of this game. Any old shot missed, and Belton, with him being every fit of six, seven foot, either six, eleven, seven foot, he wasn't going to be able to stop that. So it's point two seconds. That's, that's just barely enough time to catch and shoot, if that. Point two seconds left. Aggie's got to throw the ball in. The only thing you can do is just touch the ball. You got to just, with this ceiling like it is, you... There's no way. I saw that Cleveland <laughs> Mavericks game. So timeout. I wish they could move the ball and get it over, but they can't. We're going to give them a second. We'll be right back. All right, here's the, uh, point two seconds left. And the only way you can do something is you have to throw it toward the rim. And uh, they can't catch it and shoot it. That's what it is. Here comes the ball, and it's going to be caught. There's nothing you can do about it. All right, now we can shake hands. 83-81. Final score. NEO wins the game on this evening. We're going to take a break. We'll be back with our closing comments, and we'll hear from the coach in just a few minutes about this game on tonight here on the campus of uh, Murray State College in Tishomingo, Oklahoma. 83-81 was our final score on tonight. We'll be right back. Life is yours to spend. Spend it expanding your balance. Spend it expanding your mind. Spend it wondering what comes next. Spend it trusting that God has a plan. Spend it taking small steps in your own life. Spend it making a big impact on someone else's. First United Bank. Spend life wisely. What's holding you back from learning the language you've always wanted to know? Too hard. Takes too long. Not with Babbel. Babbel's lessons take just 15 minutes a day. 15 minutes isn't long. Nope, and they're fun. So you don't realize you're learning a language, but you are. In three weeks, you're able to start having conversations. And Babbel's lessons are built around real life. And with Babbel, it isn't hard. It's, it's perfect. perfect. Start learning a new language today. Go to Babbel.com. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. There's a price war in the insurance business, and you may be paying too much. Call the Term Lifeline right now and see if you can save 40%. Half million dollar plans and up, that's our specialty. Even great smokers rates. Protect your family today. Call the Term Lifeline right now for a free quote. 866-509-TERM. 866-509-TERM. 866-509-TERM.
All right, folks, back after a heck of a wild game tonight here at A.W. Beans Fieldhouse. Matchup on tonight between NEO and Murray State, and it was every bit of it. At one time, it was like NEO had probably about a 14 or 15-point lead, but Murray State was able to chip back away, told them that they needed to cut it down to 10 points at half, but no, they didn't do that. They went ahead and cut it down to 8 points, and I just tell you, it was a lot of scoring in the second half where, of course, um, Murray State scored at least, from my notes here, at least about 48 points in that second half compared to uh, NEO. They scored 44 in the first half, and looks like they did about 43 in the second half. Let's check the numbers and see what we have for NEO on tonight. Remember, these are unofficial numbers. Starter number zero, Ronyo Obu, he scored three points on tonight. Uh, let's see. James Locke went to the free throw line one time, did not make a shot. Ended up scoring about uh, 13 points for NEO. Next, we have uh, Tobias Rowland. Went to the free throw line, did not connect on anything, so he was scoreless. Trayvon Board, he was a starter. He fouled out the game with foul fouls, and he went to the free throw line, according to my notes, six times. And was uh, four for six from the free throw line. He had at least um, 13 points. So let's give him a total of uh, 17 points for the game. Next, we had uh, Patrick Pence. No points. He's a young man from out of Atlanta, Georgia. And he had one foul. Belton, the guy who hit the game-winning shot, the center, he scored at least 12 points, went to the free throw line on tonight. Five times he was two for five. He ended up with three fouls in the game. Next we had LaPrada George from Chicago. He had one foul, ended up scoring 11 points for the Norseman. LaBree Williams scored three points, no fouls. Caden Carter. He ended up scoring 10 points. He went to the free throw line five times. Four out of five. We give him 10 points with one foul. And then Albert Wilson, number 30. The freshman shooting guard. He finished the game. He went to the free throw line at least seven times. And he connected five out of seven. And he had a couple of baskets. So let's give him nine points in the game. Now let's check on the stats to see what we have for Murray State on this evening. R.J. Chapman. No fouls. He scored four points in the first half and finished the game with a total of seven points. Next, we had number one, Isaiah Lewis, who was just balling his butt off on tonight. I have him down for at least one, two, three, four, five, six three-pointers on tonight. He had a couple of, uh, of jump shots. So six and three is uh, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31 points is what I have for him on tonight. And I tell you what, this team played their butts off on the night. Coach is uh, coming up right now, and he's got his little one here. I'm going to give him a chance. Uh, he, he probably needs some more ice in that Sonic uh, coat. I, I, again, as always, Coach, allow you to get situated. Your comments, your feedback on the game on tonight. Well, I was, I was proud of our guys. Um, we didn't get enough rebounds and enough stops to win, but um, that's an incredibly talented uh, athletic, really big team uh, for us to match up with, and for the guys to battle back like they did. Uh, I was just, you know, I was just proud of their competitive nature and their grit and toughness. Uh, it was just, it was a heartbreaker there at the buzzer. In the uh, first half, like in about like the 14 minutes left in the first half, you guys found yourself as down as much as 16 or 17 points, and and I was saying here on the air. If you can just cut it down to 10 at halftime. And you ended up making the score at halftime 36 to 44. So then you had an eight point lead. So what did you say to the team when you went in there, Coach Davis? Well, we tried to um, shore up some things defensively and obviously on the boards. Um, I thought, you know, obviously we did a little bit uh, there in the second half. We did a much better job. Uh, but man, slowing them down, slowing that team down, credit to Coach Jackson and his staff and those players because they're 
they're incredibly hard to stop and slow down and um we we did enough to to get right there we just couldn't um just couldn't win it in the second half you almost hit 50 points in the second half yeah uh, you was like 47 points in the second half compared to them you, you beat them basically in the second half though but here's the, the key to the game i don't know what isaiah lewis was doing today but in the first half he had a few turnovers but in the second half he had no turnovers and then he comes in there with some key steals then he hits at least six three pointers on tonight and i got him down for 31 points yeah. and, and you didn't hardly go to the free throw line tonight until later on in the second half so can you talk about isaiah lewis and his performance on tonight i mean it, we needed every shot we needed every shot and he shot the mess out of it so um he shot the ball as well as he's done all year he made i mean darn near every shot that he put up uh, from the three and uh, we needed it because they play that zone and they're athletic and they're long and so every single one of them was key so i i just happy happy that uh i'm happy to have them on the team happy to have all these guys on the team these guys played their butts off today and they really wanted this win and i uh, just i feel for them this was this is i told them after the game i said this is the most wholesome type of sadness you'll ever have because it's a sadness that resulted in you guys giving everything that you had and um and and even in preparation for this game even preparation for the year they've these guys have worked hard all year and it, to to get to this moment and so when you get to this moment and uh you fall just short it's a it's a special kind of cut that wounds you but you know we can you know it'll leave a scar but we can heal from this and and it can it can make us stronger um if we if we let it and, and you know what i was telling the fans that you guys are holding on to that third spot it just depends on how the other teams did so when you get ready to go you got one game on the road you got to go to eastern then you got to turn around and come back here and have your your uh sophomore night you got six sophomores that's going to be playing their last game here and wearing the blue and white for murray state and I, I got to say one of them is Stanley Harley tonight. Came off the bench tonight, scored 18 points. And he wasn't free to go in there against the trees on the night. And hit a couple of floaters on him. Yeah. yeah and then he had another big shot. Um, and, uh, yeah, he, he, was, he was key for us because he's not afraid to go in there uh, with all of the size that they have. And he has the quickness to get around some people. So he was, he's a big part of um, – what we do and he was a big part of uh beating them tonight if you know or at least uh keeping us in the game tonight well let me just say this your guards did a great job they were there i mean <laughs> trayvon the defense that they put on them chapman the defense they put on them and then emory everhart who came up used his body to put the ball off the glass i mean i i could just go on and on but the guys that you put out there on that floor Tonight, even coffee, I sell some great things. Iggy came in on a few times. But there was nothing you could do when you got a guy, what is he, 6'11 or 7 foot? He's a big guy, and I've heard he, I've heard he has a tremendous character. So um, You good, can't stop that. Can't stop it. Well, we needed to. And, uh, <laughs> and, and tonight it was, it was a tough game for this reason because, like you said, there were so many guys playing well. There was one or two guys on the bench all the time that like I was looking down I was like he's playing well but this team is playing well that that was out there on the court too so it was really hard in a good way to know who to play tonight um and so because sometimes like they're down at the stretch I never put Terrence on the bench and down the stretch I had Terrence on the bench and uh um and it wasn't anything against Terrence Terrence has done great yeah um but Ter Terrence was great for us tonight Terrence did a lot of good things for us uh but we had uh, plenty of guys playing well um, tonight, so um, it was a credit to to all the all of the guys and the team effort that we had, and you know we just like I said we just came up just short. Yeah, well it was a great game, and we was all standing up and we was doing our thing. So coach, I just want to say congratulations to you on the win on tonight. Final score was 83 to 81, but it, we almost went into overtime. And you know I got a really good question to ask. You know, when you throw the ball in, how come they can't move the ball in on the timeouts in the college? Why can't they do that? You know. Oh, you mean to, yeah. to half court? Yes. Oh, it's a that's a FIBA rule that 
hopefully will get adopted here soon. They need to because everybody else do it. I'm like, yeah, why don't we have do this it. in Duco? You know, so. But anyway, right. well, Coach, thank you so much. We'll be back here next week, one week from the night. Play on the Pioneers, and that's going to be a good game. And then we want everybody to make their way to Muskogee to support the Murray State Aggies. Had a great one on tonight, Coach. Thank you so much. And your baby girl's right there. Yeah. Right she there. She needs to go to bed. All right. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Coach Josh Davis. Thank you, Cedric. Head coach of the Murray State Aggies. And we are out. I want to say thank you to everybody for checking out our broadcast tonight here in Tishomingo. Final score, Aggies, they trailed. They lost the game by a score of 83-81. to 81. We'll see you on next Thursday night. Be careful. <laughs>